Let it not be said that electronic design can't be hilarious. This is a circuit, an article I came across some years ago, and it is just the strangest, funniest thing I've ever seen in the electronics world. And even if you're not into electronics, I, I'll try to explain it in such a way that you can just see how weird and crazy it is. It's kind of a Rube Goldberg circuit. Um, and to this day, I don't know if the authors were serious and somehow thought they were doing something useful or if they're just uh, purposely designing this crazy circuit and uh, making it seem serious, but they're just sort of pulling the wool over the uh, editor's eyes of the, the magazine and website. I'll put up a little pause here. I'll just put up the, uh, the pages to the article. So if you do know electronics, you can study them, pause the video and study them. And then we'll uh, discuss more about what makes it so interesting. So this article purports to be about crystals and crystal oscillators. In electronics, crystals are used to provide a, a very accurate frequency uh, source, um, very, you know, measuring in the parts per million. Um, you know, a typical crystal might be specified around 20 parts per million accuracy. Uh, so you can, you know, they're used in computers, smartphones, watches, <laughs> Uh, as a, an accurate source for uh, time measurement or frequency generation. Uh, this article, uh, it's really unclear what it's meant to do. It just seems to be a, a, a little collection of tidbits related to uh, crystals and circuit design using crystals. Uh, but then this uh, circuit is presented, which is just this crazy, incomprehensibly Rube Goldberg type uh, of design that seems to do nothing useful. So therein lies its uh, hilarity, <laughs> you might say. Normally, um, the, cir the circuit claims it's measuring the crystal frequency. Well, normally, if you're measuring a frequency like that, you have a, a piece of equipment called a, a frequency counter, which has many digits of display, six, seven, eight, ten, uh, has its own crystal inside, very accurately uh, specified and, and adjusted, so it can measure the frequency of other uh, signals, whether it's crystal-based or whatever. Um, the circuit here is, is this crazy mishmash of uh, analog and digital components that does nothing in my uh, in my opinion <laughs> nothing useful anyway so that's how you'd normally measure a, a frequency accurately is with a frequency counter what they've done here is take the signal from the oscillator from a crystal you know from a, a crystal that uh, you want to measure in some way and that that's uh, if if you're not too familiar with electronics that's the little circuitry with those triangles at the left side. That's the oscillator, and the, the crystal is marked, you know, X1 and X2. That's the, the symbol for a crystal. It then feeds that frequency through three ICs that divide it down to a lower frequency. Each one of those purple blocks divides the frequency by 16, so the total uh, division after three of them is 4,096. Now, the only reason they're doing this is to get to lower the frequency um, to one, you know, one four thousandth of its original value because the IC the blue, in the, the blue block takes that frequency and converts it to an analog voltage. Here, here's, you know, the first part of the, the craziness. Um, it, it, now, that, that, that IC... You might say, well, why don't you just connect that to the, the output of the crystal or at, directly convert the crystal's frequency to a voltage? Okay. It's just because the, the IC is 
doesn't operate at the frequency range of most crystals. Uh, so by dividing down by 4,000, you bring the crystal frequency down to a range that the uh, IC in blue can understand. So that IC takes the frequency, converts it to a voltage, and then feeds that voltage into the uh, greenish chip at the bottom, which is basically a, a voltmeter, which converts the voltage back into a digital display. Okay, I mean, that's pretty crazy. What A signal you should be measuring purely in the digital domain. You've, cre you've tr converted to analog, taken that, converted it back to di digital to, to display on a, a readout. So, I mean, that's not totally insane. It's mildly insane, but it's not totally insane. The next, uh, if you look closely at that voltmeter uh, circuit, the green block, you'll see there are only two digits of display. Now remember, we're trying to measure a crystal uh, that has parts per million accuracy somehow on a two-digit display. And not only that, take a closer look, it's not even a two-digit display. It's only one and a half digits because the left digit only uh, has two of the segments hooked up, so it can only display a one. <laughs> Bottom line, you've got a crystal, and you're trying to measure it with a display that reads somewhere between 0 and 19. Um, not only that, but the the brunt of the article seems to be discussing um, how you adjust the crystal frequency by just, you know, minuscule amounts, just by small numbers of uh, parts per million. And uh, some, you know, you, you're going to need a six, seven, eight digit display to see the effect of those adjustments. So once again, it just mind boggling that, uh, you know, they have created this circuit for no apparent reason other than, you know, at best it will give you a very, very coarse idea of the, uh, the frequency of your crystal. That's about all it, it can do. So truly no, no point to it at all. For bonus points, you might notice another little minor gaffe in the uh, description of the circuit. Uh, just the, the very last sentence above the uh, schematic, they mention uh, to avoid capacitors made from Z5U material. This is true in, in, in some sense of the word, the hilarious part being that the size of capacitors used in a circuit like this you'd never find in Z5U material or any other poor material. Um, it would always, basically always be suitable for that uh, crystal use. So what do you think? Is this for real? Is it a joke? It wasn't published on April Fool's Day, so I don't know. <laughs> See any other craziness about it?